Good morning guys, um, I have just decided to head out to um, Scolty today, just doing a recce walk for everybody outdoors. Um, Scolty's just south of Bankery, so just about a five minute drive from Bankery. So plenty of coffee stops in the centre um, to warm up, because it's going to be quite a cold walk um, and certainly I'm planning to go to the top where the tower is. Um, but I've got my flask and I'm all set. So car parking, quite a massive area for car parking. Um, just so peaceful. All I can hear is bird song at the moment, so that's lovely. Um, car parking is up to one hour is two pounds and up to three hours is 250. So I don't think that's bad. That all goes towards the maintenance of the forest. I've not done this walk for a while, um, but from what I gather, um, very well maintained paths and routes and stuff. But we'll have a look at that on the, the route round. So I'll take you guys with me and um, I'll check back soon. Bye. Unfortunately, it wasn't long until I came across the first hurdle. Now I'm OK, I'm six foot, but I've got really, really short legs. So um, if I can manage to get over, then I'm sure most people in this walk can. But I certainly already it's going to look like a walk for for people who have got a reasonable level of fitness. Um, as I said, every walk we go slow, but um, in this one, when you're having to climb over things, people with maybe joint problems, knee problems, back problems might struggle just a bit. But um, just a wee look around to see just how glorious the, the scenery is where we are at the moment. So the terrain so so there's a t so the terrain so far um, has actually been really quite fine and just a kind of gravelly path nothing too uneven apart from that one tree um, everything else is looking great so i've just spoke to one of the forestry guys there just now and um, he says the trails are actually running pretty well at the moment and um, a couple of trees down just from recent storms but they're trying to get on top of that so I'm planning this walk for january anyway so hopefully by that point barring no more storms um, yeah, I would imagine that tree will be cleared. So, yeah, great so far. As I said, I've not been here for years. And I'm only maybe 10 minutes into the walk and already I'm feeling calm and peaceful. So, um, yeah, quick view over. Unfortunately, it's a bit misty today, so you can't really see the beautiful views. However, on a clear day, we would see right up over to the hills. Um, obviously, Skolti is where we're aiming for. Um, can't see it at the moment, but um, we'll get amazing views from the top as well. I'll take you back then. Thanks. So I've just gained my first sight of Skolti, which is just about there. Um, it looks like just the top of a tree, but um, that's a little monument on the top. So yeah, looks far away at the moment, but um, I'm sure it'll be fine once we get going. Um, as I said, scenery here is just absolutely beautiful. And I have to admit, I was feeling a wee bit anxious this morning, but um, already I'm feeling chilled out and ready for my cup of tea at the top. Full disclosure, I just took the wrong route. Um, I had my map and compass out, as I always do, for my recce routes, and I decided that that was the route all the way along that wall and then realised it wasn't. So I've had to come back on myself and I'm now on the correct route. But that's why I am out doing recce walks, is to make sure that I'm finding the correct route. So on the day when we do have the walk, I don't get lost. Um, but yeah, it's just one of these things. Just getting more steps in for the day. Speak to you soon. So that's just a mile in just now. Um, the, we went onto a Land Rover track and now we're just on this kind of, again, round Land Rover track, but it's quite kind of rough. We're starting to go up a wee bit. As you can tell, I'm puffing. <laughs> so we're starting to go uphill just a wee bit at the moment. But um, yeah, nothing too bad. I have to admit, this walk is absolutely stunning. So glad I made the effort today to come out and wreck it because there's just nobody here. So peaceful. Not seen a soul apart from the forestry man. The birds are tweeting. There's no wind. Temperature's not too bad. So yeah, all in all, I'm about a mile and a half in and absolutely loving it.
So that hill bit's just beginning. Um, I walk like a snail, but do I still get there? Of course I do. So something that somebody taught me was the tendency is when you're going up a hill is to do like massive strides because you think you'll get there quicker. But actually the idea is tiny little footsteps. So it makes the gradient feel less and it's less for your legs to work against. So that's exactly what I'm doing. To be honest, on a day like today, I'd rather take it slow. Because I'd be like, I'd like to be out here all day and enjoy this rather than being at home doing the cleaning. Oh, holly bush, berries on it. It's a sign when Christmas is coming. Now that we're climbing out of the tree line now, we're starting to get rewarded with some gorgeous views. Today I questioned about whether to come up because I didn't think we were going to get any views, it was going to be misty. But it's amazing what a couple hours can do. Look, blue sky. So <clears throat> this is us getting just towards the top of school here. I see it's just getting a bit more rugged terrain now. A few kind of steppy bits, a few loose rocks, um, but certainly there's areas with good footing, nothing causing concern. I think for anybody that's a bit, oh, <laughs> just as I tripped, as if on cue, I'll leave that in so it just proves that it does happen. Probably walking poles for small sections of this is a good idea. Um, you can get relatively inexpensive ones and some of you might already have them but I think as a rule I'm going to start carrying them everywhere now so if anybody needs them they're there or certainly if I need them they're there Into the sunlight Absolutely gorgeous So unfortunately the rain's now moved in but I've just been spoken to a localer and he said that over in that kind of section here there's a hill called Kerloch, which is supposed to be beautiful. So I'll put it on a list of walks to somewhere to explore. I know there's a few of you from the south of the Aberdeen, so I think I'll be looking to you for some advice or some walks down this way, because I'm loving this and I'd like to explore more of the area. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to get some hints and tips. That's what I get for boasting that the weather was good. <laughs> it's closed in big time, but thankfully, I'm sensible enough and I've got good workers with me but unfortunately the views are not what I was hoping for Hey hey ho! You win some, you lose some We've reached the top Absolutely stunning work So glad I did it And actually, not too taxing at all This little sheltered bit is a good place to stop and get on. I had my waterproof jacket on anyway, because um, you know, it's a windproof as well as a waterproof, but I didn't have my waterproof trousers on. So unfortunately, the heavens have opened and I'm getting very wet. So these, these waterproof trousers I bought from Vampire Outdoors, their outdoor research. They're a uh, 2XL, um, they're slightly bigger than me, um, I don't know if I just didn't measure correctly, but to be honest it's fine because if I've got winter wears on it's, it'll be working out well. They've got huge zips right up to your hips, so when you put your feet through, you can't get your boots stuck. Um, they've got a toggle tie and they've also got pockets, um, so I, I would say they're an essential piece of a winter kit to be honest. I would say this section of the walk is quite steep, this is us on the way down, so we're just taking a slightly different path. Um, there's an even steeper one that, um, when I was doing the research for this, there's even steeper one, so which was seemingly the only route um, up and down to school to Calibre High. Um, this one's been built by... <laughs> I would still say it's quite steep. It's fine, I've not slid. Um, it's completely doable, but it is kind of so tougher on the knees. Um, again, I think this is probably where walking poles would come in handy. Rookie mistake, I forgot mine today, but I certainly will start carrying them from now on. But as you can see, the sun's beginning to shine again. 
and the scenery's beginning to open up. Unfortunately, more storm damage due to the recent storm. I can't actually tell you which name it is because I feel as though there's been so many and um, they all just turn into a blur. But um, yeah, seemingly these trails were blocked off for a couple of weeks, the forestry man was saying, but they're working hard to get them back open. But certainly today I've came across two trees which were easily to get over. But obviously between now and January when I plan to do this walk, <laughs> there could be more storms, but equally there could have been none and the routes could be completely clear. It's just one of these things we have to work out. So I don't think I've ever introduced Bailey to the vlogs. He always features, but he, um, yeah, I never actually give him any place and he's got a lot of place in my life. He is seven years old. Um, he came to us as a rescue pup and um, we didn't think we could have children. We'd been trying for five years, it didn't happen. So we got a pup and this little pup, then a baby arrived. So I did not, <laughs> we probably wouldn't have done it the opposite way around. We would never have done it the opposite way, have a baby then a dog, because we didn't think we'd cope. But he was on our lives and he's here to stay, well, as long as doggily possible. He's got a blank patch on his neck just now that was from surgery that he had on his neck. That was about three months ago and to be honest, he's recovered so, so well. I'm so proud of him. How are you feeling about camera shy? Hmm? I'm hopefully going to be bringing him on some walks soon, but just because I'm new to it, I've decided that I'll just... Um, Go without him at the moment but maybe join him later once um, I've done a few more but yeah he is my companion in life he's got me through the darkest hours and yeah I wouldn't be without him <laughs>